These next set of questions all deal with dividing fractions together. Now we know that dividing and multiplying are opposite operations. So that means that dividing by a number is the same thing as multiplying that number by its reciprocal. So let's go through the first example. 5 over 6 divided by 1 over 9. Now again, we know that dividing and multiplying are opposite operations, so all we have to do is 5 over 6 times the reciprocal of this fraction. 1 over 9's reciprocal is just 9 over 1, so we can write that as 9. And then we can carry on with our simple multiplication scales, and we can cancel out diagonal terms. So the 6 and the 9 can both be divided by 3, so we are left with 5 over 2 times 3. Multiplying the top together, we have 5 times 3 over 2, which is 15 over 2. Now we know that 15 over 2 is an improper fraction, so we can turn this into a mixed number by seeing how many times does 2 go into 15. 2 goes into 15 evenly 7 times, so 7 is our whole number out front, and then we have a fraction of whatever is left over. 7 times 2 is 14, so 15 minus 14 is 1, so 1 is our numerator and our denominator is the same as the denominator here. So either answer to this question is fine. Our next example is 8 over 11 divided by 6 over 7. Now our first step is to multiply that by the reciprocal. So we have 8 over 11, that stays the same, but because we're multiplying now, we're going to take the reciprocal of this fraction, which is 7 over 6. Now we can apply multiplication and reduce cross terms. 11 and 7 cannot be reduced anymore, but 8 and 6 can both be divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4 over 11 times 7 over 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Now we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together, and we get a final answer of 28 over 33. Now this is a proper fraction, so we don't have to turn it into a mixed number. So this is our final answer. Our next example is 2 over 9 divided by 3 over 7. Now to multiply, we just have to take the reciprocal of this fraction. So we have 2 over 9 times 5 over 3. Now we reduce cross terms, but we see that 2 and 3 cannot be reduced by the same number, and 9 and 5 cannot be reduced by the same number either. So these are the fractions, and we just multiply the numerators and the denominators together. 2 times 5 over 9 times 3. And we are left with 10 over 27 as our final answer. Our next example is 7 over 12 divided by 2. So to turn this into multiplication, we just have to take the reciprocal of this 2. So we have 7 over 12 times the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 over 2. We reduce cross terms, and nothing can be reduced here, so we have 7 times 1 all over 12 times 2, with our final answer of 7 over 24. Our next example is 4 divided by 3 over 4. To turn this into a multiplication problem, we take the reciprocal of 3 over 4. So we have 4 times the reciprocal of 3 over 4, which is 4 over 3. Nothing can be reduced down, so we have 4 times 4 over, in this case, 1 times 3. So our final answer is 16 over 3. Now this is an improper fraction, so it can be reduced into a mixed number. 3 goes into 16 evenly, 5 times, so 5 is our coefficient out front, and then 5 times 3 is 15, and 16 minus 15 gives us 1. So our numerator of our fraction is 1, with a denominator of 3. Moving on to the final example, we have 7 over 12 divided by 1 over 2. So again, to turn this into multiplication, we take the reciprocal of this fraction. So we have 7 over 12 times 2 over 1. The 12 and the 2 can be reduced down by dividing both by 2. So we are left with 7 over 6 times 1 over 1, which gives us an answer of 7 over 6. Now this can be reduced down to a mixed number of 1 times 1 over 6. Again, either way you leave these answers are fine.